and welcome back to the Bookaholics Rehab again! I'm back with another video and this will be my reading spot and my desk tour. So, hope you enjoy it. See you soon, bye! So is this is the desk that sits like opposite my reading chair. Um, it's got my clothes in it that I will always need, obviously. And then it's got, it's been decorated by me, which is why it's a little bit rough around the edges. I'm going to buy some paint and do it up properly, but for now I've done all like the decoration-y bit and it's got pictures of all the places I want to go um, and all the places that I think are really pretty in the world, so I'm excited for that part of my life, but for now I'm stuck in the Isle of Man. Um, so on the top I have my jewellery that I wear all the time, such as like going out for a night out or... Uh, everyday kind of thing. I then have the picture frame that I bought my boyfriend for our first year anniversary. Then my two candles and my sunglasses which I don't like my candles for the light. I like them because I like the smell. And then my perfumes and hairspray. So that's basically the top. Also on the top we have my star listings international which my mum bought me because I'm obsessed with stars. And I've also got my letter that she bought me for my 21st birthday that came as a message in a bottle which I thought was dead cute and should be displayed. We then have this purple desk tidy with all of my general paperwork in it that doesn't really have anywhere else to go. So yeah, that's the top of my desk. Now on to the inside. This is the inside of my desk. So as you can see it's quite spacious, it's got a lot of compartments and different things. So in my first section I have my asthma and my pen section basically. I've got my brown inhalers and my peak flow and then all of my pens. In my Jane Eyre Charlotte, Bron Charlotte Bronte penguin bookmark. So yeah. And then in my next section I have all of my pretty journals. So I have, oh it's stuck. I have this one, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous that I write all my poetry in. I have this one, which I thought was cute and fun, and it's dead lightweight, so I actually bought this one for Nanny Rymo so I could have always have a notebook on me to write down my 1500 words a day. Uh, I then have this one which was actually what inspired me to start up a new blog and eventually booktube so exciting stuff. Get in there will you? And then the last but not least is my house stock um, notebook which I still haven't taken out of the binding. I got this from for my birthday from one of my friends at uni called Alex. So shout out to Alex for the really pretty thing. A uh, pretty journal. So really love it. Love 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 it. So then in my next like compartment I have a load of keepsakes so it's um well, I say keepsake, it's like my home warming Manx present from my mum that she got me. Uh, my Valentine's Day card, my love you note from Alex from when I was really ill at uni. She posted it under my door, so I kept it. She'll be pleased to know. Uh, Christmas cards and different things like that. So I also have two Odeon tickets for Divergent, which I went to see with my friends actually, and then of course Frozen, also a friend outing. So there's not much else in there apart from obviously some nail buffs, a bandage and a bank thing. So that's about it, basically. In my next compartment I have Ready Set Novel, which is by, if I'm not mistaken, it's by the same people who do Nanny Rhino, and of course I'm looking to do it again this year. 
So I thought I'd pick it up and see if I could actually complete it this year. I then have my Pros and Planet poster, which I don't actually know where I'm going to put yet. And then a pen case with a little bit of pens. Uh, the next one doesn't really need more explanation. It's my nail polish collection. So there's not a lot in there, really. I don't really paint my nails a lot, so yeah. It just sort of sits there unused. My next section is um, my face masks, my shower gel, my fancy shower gel that I use on nights out, and then my makeup collection. If you want to see a separate video for those, then thumbs up or comment down below. And I think that's it for my desk. So that's it. That's my desk. And this is my reading chair. So I basically sit here look out the window, spy on everybody else, and yeah, that's my reading chair, so yeah. It has a useful windowsill that I can put my book on, and I can also fold down my desk and watch things on my laptop as well, so yeah, that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll see you later guys, bye!